Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to go into the dankest memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Let's jump into the very first one, which is <laughs> about relaxing. That intro diving into an SCP about uh, not getting excited. That's good times. Man, what a good day. A bunch of flowers are blooming and there's a cool band on TV. Ah, when... um. Uh, Yasi, who puts together the list of S SCP memes that I look through, uh, contacted me last week and was like, hey, you know, there's a lot of 6,000 memes. Do you want me? So which 6,000 articles have you read? And I was like, at the time, I haven't read any. Uh, not last week, but the week before last. Uh, I haven't read any. And he, he was like, oh, OK, well, I guess I'll leave them out. And I was like, no, 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 leave them in. I'll read some. So I read some. And thankfully, this is one that I actually read. <laughs> I mean, I read six or seven of the top rated ones which are the ones that are getting the most memes made about them uh, <laughs> but uh, i mean this is such a simple scp I, I really do like uh this article it's not my favorite amongst all of them but it's definitely you know it's definitely up there because it's just so simple and short it gets the point across pretty easy easily and quickly i don't know that i, I mean i definitely don't we i let's put it this way it's not the kind of article I would like to be in the 6,000 slot, but it is a good SCP, I think. SCP Wiki. I heard about this. I didn't see it because I don't get a chance to really like super follow. I, I, I do go to Dank. Believe it or not, I do go to Dank Memes from Site19 on my own uh, from time to time. And I scroll through the, uh, the memes. But by the time I was looking at it, I guess the uh, authors had stopped posting memes about their stuff. This is understandable, though, because when people want to promote their works, uh, they're going to look through every avenue they can to do it. And there's and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But this may be a problem of perception. So the previous SCP winners got a lot of memes made about them, or I should say uh, 6K or, the, or I should say the 5K, the 4K contest winners. And I think even the 3K contest winner had a lot of memes made about them on dank memes. Um. And it would be easy to assume that they that they won or were popular because of memes made about them. So people were going in here and trying to gain exposure for their 6K proposals by putting up memes. But an alternative uh, interpretation of the data might indicate that uh, memes were made about them because they were popular. <laughs> It's hard to tell for sure one way or the other, but uh, I do believe memes help with uh, pr promoting an SCP because it makes it puts the concept into an easily digestible bite. So memes are a very good way to and I, I would always do this when I say pitch an article to me. If you're going to pitch an article to me, make it in one sentence because we're dealing with flash fiction, not a novel. But you can do that with a novel, too. Uh, but memes are just an extension of that, really. So uh, I, I did hear about this, but I didn't get a chance to see it ongoing. Apparently there was, I'm an SCP fan. Okay, name 37 article, uh, SCP article that you read. SCP-001, that's on me, I set the bar too low. Hey, eventually we're going to fill out the Series 0 uh, uh, pick completely, and uh, then we'll have to start over, I guess, right? It feels to me that like when you hit a hundred SCP-001 articles that you have filled up the 001 slot and you need to start over with a new slot, right? So we'll do 001 part two. We're going to get there. It's going to happen. It might even happen in the next five years, depending on how uh, many new authors get around to writing 001 articles. Although the sheer number of 001 articles is sort of because it, like... Even if most people don't agree with me that 001s aren't really worth what they used to be in the grand scheme of prestige or importance, uh, there's still people out there that believe that they do. Um, but I have noticed sort of a, a lessening of emphasis and importance put on the 001 slot. Uh, and I do think that's because there are so many SCP... <laughs> This is another one of those. SCP authors reading, voting, and commenting on 6K entries on the main site. The same authors making 6K memes on r slash dank memes from site 19. Well, I mean, on the main site, they have a set of rules to try and keep you from being um, mean to each other. No, that, that works out really well most of the time. Sarcasm. 
Uh, but, you know, Dake means from Site 19 is free for all. We do what we want. <laughs> uh, normal SCP article. The idea is kind of basic and similar to things that have been done before. Try to avoid as many redactions in the future and try to establish some sort of narrative if you can. Uh, joke SCP article critique. Laugh. I did not. Okay. First of all, uh, the idea is kind of basic and similar to things that have been done before. Uh, it's not really very good critique. Try to avoid that many redactions in the future, I think, is usually pretty good. If, if assuming someone had a bunch of redactions and try to establish some sort of narrative, if you can, these are very vague and basic sorts of decent critique that you can give to people uh, for their SCP articles. The thing is, uh, and I, I mentioned this before. It's a matter of changing styles, right? Like the writing, if you read a book from 1940 and you read a book from today, you can tell that there's a difference of style. And a book written in a 1940s, well, it's actually a bit more complicated than that. A single book written today in a 1940s style might do well just from the novelty factor. But if all of the, you know, if a bunch of people were coming across with this sort of style, it wouldn't work. Uh, understanding that styles and uh, types of articles and types of writing have evolved is important. And that's the narrative, essentially. When people are like, well, early articles didn't need a narrative to be successful. Well, it's not 2008 anymore. It's 2021. <laughs> Sorry, things have evolved and you need to evolve with them. However, when it comes to a joke SCP article, that's the problem. There is no... Th it is not, there's not, it is not to say that jokes and humor aren't, don't follow some rules, right? Uh, however, more so than in a normal piece of writing, the rules of comedy are easily broken and don't really always apply. I mean, you can do rule of three and be like, a joke needs to have a setup, a, a setup, a continuation and a punchline, right? But, or rule of three stuff where it's like, you know, the same, the same and different. And that's the joke because you, you start with the same, uh, you continue it with another thing that is the same as the first thing. So people think that there's a pattern and then you break that pattern and the breaking of the pattern causes people to laugh. This is generally true, but you can't just like, I just did that, right? I just described a rule of three, but I did it in such a bland way that it's not at all funny. Here's the thing. Humor is subjective. It's very subjective. It's even culturally subjective. What one culture finds funny, another culture might not find funny. So <laughs> there's not really much you can do other than like some basic grammatical critique or uh, a few a few minor things that you can do to critique a joke article. The real question is, did it make a bunch of it, it did make more people laugh than it didn't make laugh? And if it did, you have a successful joke, period. That's how it works. The Deva, according to SCP-140, the Deva in reality. I did quite like, was it the Eternal Empire? I did quite like that 6K article. Um, it's definitely not my interpretation of the Devites, to be honest with you. I like them being uh, this, uh, it was, it, it, to be honest with you, the Devite article in SCP-140, uh, it's not my favorite series one, but it's definitely one of the ones that made me get, got me to thinking about how the SCP wiki works and one of the like how you can craft an article. Um, and I do love the idea of playing with it in a particular, you know, one article. Off, but to me that I hope to God that doesn't become what the Davites are going forward because it's kind of in the long term a boring interpretation of them. Just saying. It's interesting in isolation, but as a general Davite lore, uh, not quite as interesting. <laughs> SCP, let's just use the word lore. SCP lore with the SCPs. SCP lore without the SCPs. I don't think the second book would be quite as thin. It'd be about half as thin uh, as the first book, but um, I mean, yeah, I guess. Without the SCPs, what's the SCP foundation? I mean, you got to have the SCPs. That's the whole point of the, that's the whole point of the wiki. That's what makes it novel and interesting. If it wasn't that, it'd just be a bunch of stories that nobody wants to read. The things Dr. Brad is not allowed to do at the foundation. Revise list. Please note, no ad more additions are being allowed. This list is to men as a joke and not an actual depiction of how the character Dr. Bright acts. Well, see, there is no canon. And to be honest with you, 
I, I've played with both versions of this, a Dr. Bright that does act like this and a Dr. Bright that doesn't act like this. Entire SCP fan base, I'll ignore that. See, like that's what I'm saying, like, not the entire SCP fan base. I think there's plenty of room for both kinds of stories. That's the whole point of having a writing environment where there is no canon, right? Random seal. I've always hated you. Why did I go into Batman just then? I don't I don't know. <laughs> Carl, I've never seen you before in my life. <laughs> oh, Carl, he knows what he did. Anyway, that's all of the memes. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I need you. This is important to scroll down and hit the subscribe button. Then share it with someone that you well, let's say not love share it with someone you know that's the that's the thing about the the about the youtube game is that it's really all about the sharing you know if you don't if if the video like youtube has its own discovery mechanisms but if you aren't sharing it with your friends and family and loved ones then i can to grow and that's important to me and after that if you'd really like to support the channel financially Head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.